to my channel. As you can see, we are back in the kitchen, but we are not preparing any meals today, okay? But we are making a body butter. This skin butter right here only contains a few ingredients and it is so luxurious. It smells amazing and it keeps your skin moisturized all day, at least for me, okay? And for me personally, I love skin that just radiates a beautiful natural glow. And this is exactly what this body butter does. All you need is a few simple ingredients. This is perfect for all skin types, it will not clog your pores, and it's perfect for personal use or you can gift it to a friend. And I added a special ingredient that will help to preserve my body butter. This body butter is amazing for everyone, all ages. You can use it, your kids can use it, the ingredients are all natural. You would be surprised the unnecessary ingredients and preservatives and chemicals that are in skin products that you place on your body that seeps into your pores. It might seem simple, but over a long time of use, I just would like to take the holistic, natural route if possible. So one of the things that I try to do is make clean products that I'm putting consistently on my body every single day. And I personally love the natural glow that it provides. But before we head into this video, I'm gonna give you a few seconds just in case you have not yet subscribed. And don't forget to hit that notification bell while you're at it. Are you done? Okay, let's hop on into this video and I will show you how to make this super simple, easy, and natural skin butter. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so if you want to stick to the basics, you only need three ingredients to accomplish this whipped shea body butter, but I'll be using five and you'll see why. You want to start off with one cup of raw shea butter. I got mine from Amazon and this is straight from Ghana. The quality of this is amazing. I will link all the ingredients in my description box below. As you can see, I use the double boiler method to avoid direct heat and I'm not placing this in a microwave because we want to keep the integrity of this shea butter. Then I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of grapeseed oil, three tablespoons of jojoba oil, and two tablespoons of vitamin E oil, and this helps to preserve your shea butter. This step is completely optional, but because I'm making a decent size amount, I felt the need to add it. Now there are so many different oils you can use in this mixture based on your skin type and preferences. I chose to use jojoba and grapeseed specifically because it, it does not clog your pores. I will leave the other benefits that it provides in the description box below if you guys are interested. Last but not least, I'm adding an essential oil. This is also completely optional. I am pretty generous because I love the lavender scent, but feel free to use whatever you like if you want to use a step. If not, you can leave it as is, but shea butter does have kind of a nutty scent to it. Once you combine all your ingredients into a bowl, you wanna place this in the refrigerator for about an hour and let this cool down and solidify. All right, you guys, I just took the shea butter out of the fridge. As you can see, it's solidified, which is perfect. This is what we want. It's gonna give us that really nice whipped consistency once we blend it, but this is perfect. I cannot wait to blend this up. Come on, let's go. So now we have our blending tools and containers ready to go. Look how creamy and solid this shea butter looks. If you have a hand mixer, use that. I'm using a hand blender so it's a little different. I also want to note that my mixture was solid enough to whip, but it's not 100% solid. You can see the oils kind of seeping through, which is perfect. We just want a texture that makes it a little easier for us to whisk. Again, if you have a hand mixer, use that. I just used my hand blender along with a hand whisk and it will give you the same result. It will just take a little longer. Look how creamy and fluffy this looks. It almost looks like icing. All right, you guys, don't be alarmed that this is not an ad. However, I wanna make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you guys are notified every time your girl posts a new video. All right, let's hop back into this video. Look how creamy and thick 
she turned out, you guys. You can pipe this in a Ziploc bag and then just cut the corners and it'll look really cute, really professional, but I don't wanna miss one drop, okay? And make sure you tap the size of your container to make sure all those air bubbles are gone. As you can see, I made sure I included everything and you guys, this is so soft. It truly melts into the skin. It's like butter, y'all. It's so nice and creamy and moisturizing. It absorbs beautifully while giving you a natural glow. This is the final product, so you can stop here, but your girl is extra, so I am going to be adding a label. I'm calling my Shea Butter Mix Body Butter. As you can see, I'm using an app. I can link this also in my description box if you guys are interested. It's on Amazon. It's such a fun label maker, and I love to collect stickers of all sorts, so I'm adding just some of my favorite ones to just add a nice aesthetic to my container. Now let me know in the comment section below if you guys would go the extra mile and also decorate your container or is it just me? Am I am I tripping? I don't know. I think it's cute. I love it. <laughs> and that's all that matters. Do what makes you happy. But yeah, you guys, this is the final product for me. I am obsessed. And we do have the best of both worlds. I have a label on the front and back. So fun in the front and simple in the back. <laughs> just look how creamy this is, you guys. It will not fall. Now it's not the most beautiful piping because I just, I don't want to waste one drop, okay? Now some people do think that shea butter is a bit on the greasy side. However, I have another recipe that I like to make that has more of a matte finish to it. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know the drill. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you're notified every time your girl posts a new video. And a huge thumbs up, share it with a friend or a family member. We don't wanna be ashy in this winter season, okay? As always, you guys know I love and appreciate you so much for supporting my channel. Stay blessed and I'll see you very shortly in my next video.